Meet the people of HVAC. Today, I introduce you to Rick Adams. And Rick has done a lot of stuff for the medical industry. He's taken care of elderly people. He's even invented medical devices. But when I got to meet Rick was when he had an issue with cooling on a bus. And Rick didn't just reach out with me to solve a problem. Rick actually went through my entire YouTube course and learned about refrigeration, learned about air conditioning, learned about all the science and math that went into it, and then started applying that to the issues that he had. And he solved a massive amount of issues all on his own. Eventually, Rick reached out to me with some new problems and want to know how to work through them and we had many many great conversations about solving problems and with the buses they have a very unique cruise air systems and those systems aren't even a lot of them aren't even produced anymore and Rick was solving problems not only for himself but for a lot of other people he actually went through and redesigned the condensing coils and a lot of things we had to back engineer we actually had these crazy parts we had to figure out what it was and why the engineer put them there since cruise air started originally with boat systems and the marine industry, a lot of stuff we found out we could really do away with for the bus side. We had to look, do we really need this part? Uh, can we just cut it out? We didn't want to cut out parts to make sure it was right. And what's awesome about Rick was he would research things on his own. So instead of coming to me saying, hey Ty, I want you to solve these problems, he really thought about it, looked at the science of it. And then he would have his own answers of, hey, this is what I think I have. What do you think? And we really become close friends over time. I got to visit him at his house and with my wife and he came down here, multiple conversations, and I got to really become a close friendship with Rick. And it was great how he thought. All the time when we had conversations, Rick was always thinking about solutions, not just with air conditioning systems, but everything and how one mechanical part over here would fix another mechanical part over here. And my mind would hurt sometimes that I left meetings with Rick because I was just thinking about things at a whole new level and getting to really exercise inventions and ideas and overcoming problems. And it was a fascinating person to really get to know and meet. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to meet Rick in person because he just recently passed away and it's a very hard loss for me because we had such great conversations, such in-depth conversations and he really challenged me to think about stuff and it was great seeing somebody solving problems and he found a niche in the air conditioning side of the bus systems and being able to solve these problems and then they stopped manufacturing compressors. What other compressor you can use and not just thinking about throwing another compressor and he would look at all the options about oil and oil return and the BTU capacity and the heat and the space it would fit in and the soft starting and the micro air systems getting those compressors starting without drawing a big load in the bus. He really thought in detail about all these different moving parts and then he went and solved these for so many people and that was so refreshing being able to have those in-depth conversations because so many people just want a quick answer what can i do to solve this and just move on where rick was thinking about you know the beginning the middle and the end and it was really refreshing and it used to really aggravate me because rick would say well i'm not an ac guy and i would stop and say no rick it's been several years now you understand superheat subcooling refrigeration cycle btus you are a refrigeration guy you understand air conditioning and uh, rick told me that he was sick and uh, i was like man rick you're going to pull through. I remember saying, hey, you're going to invent something that's going to save a whole bunch of other lives. And about a month later, I found out from his wife that he had passed away. And that's one of my big regrets is not getting up there to see Rick one last time. So I want Rick to be an inspiration to you. Just because there's something that you don't understand, go and learn it. The resources are out here. Go and learn something new, research stuff, figure out how things work, and you're unlimited on what problems you can solve. You're unlimited in what you can be and what you can become. The next thing I want to make sure you do is if you have somebody you enjoy talking to and, and somebody you have these great conversations with, make sure you tell them today how much you appreciate them. And hopefully, even though Rick's not here today, Rick can still live on with his passion, his ideas for everybody out there. And, uh, and hopefully, Rick's an inspiration to you, just like he was an inspiration to me. He always loved his daughter. He talked about how proud he was of her. And man, I can't think of what better life you could have. And Rick, I'm really going to miss you, man. But uh, hopefully, you'll be able to inspire a lot of other people. Have a great day. Never stop learning.